Alright guys, hey what's up here? It is Pennsylvania Picker Tanner here. That's for you, Mason. Um, we went, Mason and I, today, went to a community-wide yard sale. Um, unfortunately, Clay could not come due to lack of communication. That was bad on my part, but hopefully, through communication, um, today, we will be able to get him to attend tomorrow, which we're going to another, uh, not a community yard sale, but a flea market which is always good, but, so, we're gonna make a video, or I'm gonna make a video now, upload it, and then I'm gonna make another video tomorrow, the finds tomorrow, cause, um, Mason, Mason would be here right now with his finds, but, um, he couldn't, because today is his dad's birthday, so he wanted to go home, he's coming back later tonight, so, that's pretty awesome, so I'm gonna do my share first, and then hopefully Mason's going to do the same thing while he's gone. But today was split half and half. Today was a collector's collectible day. And today was also a big video game day. In a way. So let's get started. Today for... Uh, I forget what I picked up first here. Um, let me think. Oh yes. The first thing that I found today was a VHS drawer. Um, I don't, I'm not going to use them for VHS. I'm going to use them for Nintendo 64 games and for Super Nintendo games to store them in. I paid two bucks for this. Mm, it was quite a deal. And at the same vendor, I also picked up a copy of Michael Jackson's Got to Be There record, which has um, Ain't No Sunshine, I Wanna Be Where You Are, Girl, don't take your love for me in our small way. Got to be there. Uh, you've got a friend. Love is here and now you're gone. Maria. And Wings of My Love and Rockin' Robin. So, yes. And then the third thing that I picked up today was uh, two Xbox games. Um, Mortal Kombat Deception from uh, Xbox, and then Batman Dark Tomorrow, which I paid two bucks for, which was pretty fair, so pretty cool. Um, and the third thing I picked up wasn't for me, it's actually for my dad for Father's Day. Um, it's a Three Stooges poster. Um, actually, it's a picture. I don't, I don't know what to call it, but... Um, yeah, I just saw it. I had to pick it up because he loves the Three Stooges. And basically a family tra tradition with me and my dad is to watch the Three Stooges Marathon that's on New Year's Day. So, pretty cool. Um, that's something my dad and I share. And then um, after that, we took that back to my aunt's house. And um, on the way back, we, took, er, we went to another yard sale and I found this. This is um, an antique stapler, a really small one too, and it's unlike any stapler I've seen. It's really small, takes really small staples, um, uh, I forget how you pu uh, pull it out, um, but uh, yeah, it's called the Tot 50 stapler. So. From the guy, I got it for 10 cents, and the guy said it's an antique, so I just thought, hey, it's a cool knickknack, so let's just go with it. And then with that, the next thing that I got was a pink DS, a little smeary, because there were a whole bunch of Guitar Hero stickers po like pasted all over it. Um, and it's ironic, too, because... Um, we were just talking about finding DS's there, and I've talked about finding a pink one and a blue one, and I, t I said Mason could get the blue one and I would get the pink one, and then, like, legitimately, right after we said that, the lady came over and she put a pink DS out. So, yes, I'm going to have to clean it up here. There's still smudges from the stickers. Um, there's a bit of s smearing on here. Um... And then, it, it's just a bit dirty. Um, it didn't come with a stylus, unfortunately, but oh well. Um, that's it. That's all I got at that, ladies. 
and then later down the road we got or I got these two Star Wars models I got a Return of the Jedi Millennium Falcon uh, for five dollars and then I got a Star Wars Snowspeeder for two dollars and fifty cents and then there I also got this for free it's um, a little thing for Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back the little poster so pretty cool so I paid seven fifty for both of those. Um, then we got the next place that we went to. I got a Star Wars: The Clone Wars clone mask, and uh, it's pretty cool. You know, it fits you know right over my hair, so it's really cool. And um, I only paid five dollars for this. And it's funny because I remember when these first came out. And, like, I would always go and want one, but then I would never want to pay the $85 that it was. So, pretty good deal. It works, too. Like, all the animatronics and stuff. Like, I can talk. And then... I'm on my way. All the vocals and stuff. Come work. on, hurry, hurry! So, that was a good deal. And then, the last place that we went to, we lost complete hope for, like, anything console-wise video games. You know, it's a yard sale, so you're not really expecting things. But then again, like, last year, I found a boxed Game Boy. But here, we found a PlayStation 2, a Slim Play... Uh, yeah, a PlayStation 2 Slim for 30 bucks. I was willing to pay that since it was a Slim. But, um... Other than that, it, I haven't tested it out yet. I'm gonna do that. Came with two controllers, all the hookups for 30 bucks. That was it. And then at that same place, I got three PS2, actually, three PS2 games, a GameCube game, and three PS1 games. So I'm gonna go over the PS1 games first. We got Castlevania Symphony of the Night for $3. We got Mortal Kombat Mythologies for our Sub Zero for three dollars. I was actually looking for this game for a very long time, but I for the Nintendo 64, but I ended up getting it first for the PlayStation. And then I got Looney Tunes Sheep Raider, which was pretty cool. I got that for three dollars. So all in all, I paid nine dollars for these three games, which I wasn't going to mind because seeing as Castlevania Symphony, Symphony of the Night is worth way more than three dollars and basically I earned my money back so then for two dollars I got um Yu-Gi-Oh the false bound kingdom for game or for the Nintendo GameCube um I looked inside it didn't come with the trading cards unfortunately I don't think I really don't want to be doing that right now on camera but I'll have to look um, yeah, those, those three cards I didn't get, so, um, other than that, yes, and then the three PS2 games I got was the Cat, or are the Cat in the Hat, which I had this game for PC, it's really cool, I haven't played the PS2 version yet, so we'll have to give that a try here pretty soon, we got Pac-Man World 2 for the PlayStation 2, and then, actually no, I didn't get the third, I didn't get this third game here, or there, so, yes, all three of these were two, three, and three, so $8. <clears throat> so I got those there. And then at a yard sale, like, not even five, five yards away, there was a canopy with uh, games under them. And this was one of them, Crazy Taxi. For I got this for a dollar. So it's a good steal because Crazy Taxi is an awesome game. So there we go. And then, <clears throat> uh, getting near the closest end of the day, I got my first and only Xbox 360 game of the day for a dollar, Soul Calibur 4. I used to have this for the GameCube, but then I sold it, so, yes. That's it. And then, at the last, one of the last few sales that Mason and I went to, for the PlayStation 2, for three or two dollars a piece, so... A total of four dollars. I got Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So we're gonna have to 
or I'm gonna go back, try all these out, make sure these work. So I won't have the charger for this until tonight because Mason, like I said, Mason's coming back and I didn't get a charger with it. So that's it. I got all of this today and I think I spent a total of about $80 today. So thanks guys. Uh, tell me if this was a good haul or not, whether I spent my money good. So, um, thanks guys. Remember to comment, rate, like, subscribe. Join the Picker Nation. Spread the Picker word. So thanks, and I will see you guys next time.